Welcome to Annapolis Ash Talk. To my right is Mike. To his right is Matt. I'm Will. And here we go. So today we're reviewing the Nub Nuance Triple Espresso. Yeah. So uh, we've had it before. Never uh, had a Nub. Matt turned me on to this. I didn't think I'd like it. But uh, actually pretty damn good scar. There's Enjoy. three coffee flavors that they have and we'll review the other ones as well. And I think Matt got these uh, on an auction site. Cigar bid. And uh, 12, just ordered a 12 pack for $35. So. And this is what, the triple, right? This is called the triple? Triple, triple roast? Espresso. Or triple espresso, right. okay. Yeah. Nice draw. Yeah. Very, very mild. It's a medium cigar. Uh, I want to thank all of our viewers who sent comments and suggestions. It was uh, appreciated, and we're, we picked up on some things, and we are taking your suggestions to heart. Yeah, we also want to uh, thank Mother Nature for taking us out of the chokehold she had us in for this heat wave, so we can now finally record some videos, so thank you for the patience. Uh, we've been putting it out there that we we're going to record, we are going to record, and uh, so we're finally at it, and the good thing is you're not seeing us all three sweating to death like pigs. So, <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Weather bug reported that we were at a 215 degrees on Saturday. I so I think it was an error. Uh, not sure. Maybe maybe it was. Not outside, but I'm sure inside here it probably was too. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. So, it's got a nice coffee flavor to it. Um, maybe a little hints of chocolate I'm tasting. Yeah, I got a little bit of like the cocoa, maybe like a chocolate taste to it. I like that. Especially, you know, for being a morning morning cigar good good cocoa through the retro hail that's what i'm picking up yeah. the most definitely getting coffee though like uh like an espresso like you loved last video yeah. i'd rather have the cigar how, how'd you do afterwards that was fine okay i didn't have enough i had like a teaspoon <laughs> of it not good this cigar good Woo! I just wanted to do a shout out to Rick Flair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big Sam and Jake at Pinnacle Outdoors. We appreciate your comments and letting us uh, ride your coattails. Yes. Good. Thank you. Thank what you. about Rick Flair? I don't know if he's watching this, but here's to Rick Flair too. <laughs> Pretty sure you just used his catchphrase, so. Yeah, you did. So now we're going to have to edit that out because we're going to get sued. And if we make any monetization off of this, no. then he yeah. will want it. Trust me. No. Oh, yeah. He comes after everybody. Medical <laughs> Outdoors catchphrase. Uh-oh. Uh, they better change it. They theirs. better change it. <laughs> All their videos. The burn is really nice on these. Even in the wind. Yeah. Yeah. I got to do a little bit of a... Ouch. You amateur. Burning yourself. Yeah. I'm done with that one. <laughs> done with that later. <laughs> Matt's from Arizona. I'm from Miami. We've said this before. We're both hating the heat. Willie's from West Virginia. I'm fine. Where yeah. it's cold. He's, he's good with this uh, with the temperatures. Uh, I'm done with it. I'm done. It's the middle of July. I'd like to move to Alaska. Where it's been Please. receiving record heat as hey, well. Whatever, man. <laughs> I'll go all the way north. They're not getting records. I couldn't take all those bugs there when they get in the summertime. That's crazy when this spring and summertime, all the bugs that are around when they're outside. The mosquitoes the size of your yeah. hand. Pick you up and fly you away. Maryland has bad mosquitoes too, so whatever. Nothing like that though. <laughs> After the light, still good flavor. Very mild just from the onset. You would think it'd be it, uh, more of a bold taste. It looks dark, dark it is. but it's more mild than medium. Mm -hmm. I noticed the one thing uh, usually like the one, the one I had the other night there was it was, a little, it was darker than this one the uh, Java the Drew Estates Java one that was stronger but you know, this is definitely has a, like more mellow taste to it whereas that one like I could instantly I smoked the whole thing I probably shouldn't have but I went ahead and did that <laughs> indigestion started right away whereas with this one you know it's nice and mellow yeah this is yeah the Java's a little bit more full body that's something Matt and I should be smoking. Yes. Glad there's one left. That's for Matt. Well, we have three left to review. We do. We can sit that one out. Yeah, I'll do it. I still liked it. It was a good taste. I just... Watch. 
watch Willie get indigestion yeah. <laughs> on film. Bring you a couple pills. That's the great thing of having editing. We can edit it all out. So every time you see me hiccup a go this way, you know what's happened. Just bring a bottle of Pepto instead of water. Yeah. I'll bring a beer bong. Get <laughs> yeah. beer bong some Pepto. I, I tried that one time. You was, beer uh, bong Pepto? No, not Pepto. Beer. Not oh, no, dude, I love beer bong. <laughs> uh, I can't do it. Will used to do it. Show you the video one day. Uh, it came out of uh, my ears, my nose. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Well, you didn't go to Frostburg either. <laughs> no. So you weren't doing keg stands then or anything? No, yeah. no. College boy. Beer bombs. They're the greatest. It's a shotgun of beer. But beer bomb didn't work. We tried. Luckily it is... Bottle bomb? It is on... How do you do a bottle bomb? You got a uh, little, like, tube. Clear vinyl tube it goes in and it's got a vinyl tube, a smaller one that goes out the side into the bottle so it vents out and then you just take it, hit you right to the head. So I just now noticed this. Where's your, where's your mic? Where'd it go? <laughs> How did it fall off? I don't know. I think we still picked them up. I don't know. So I <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully I, I, was it on when he started? I thought yeah, I, I had it on. got up to uh, oh, the power shit. on. Oh, shit. Well, now we got But, but I, thought when he, I thought when he sat back down, he had it on. <laughs> no. Well, we'll see how that goes. We got more <laughs> coming if we have to do another one. That sucks. I think it's going to pick you up. I think so, too. Yeah. You're speaking pretty loud. So, uh, well, you're back with us now, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, if it wasn't. Good job. Professionals here. <laughs> For second one. Okay, these things happen. We're getting worse. Technical difficulties. Can't get worse. <laughs> yeah. Willie's in charge of social media. He's been doing a hell of a job getting our name out there. Yeah, that's Six that. likes. That's a heck. That's a heck of a. It's a heck of a chore. Jesus. Who would have thought it could be that? I mean, even to just sit there and hit hit some buttons, you know, on the phone, it's like it's still. I told you you need to hire somebody. I know. Yeah, like Willie's busy at night. Dude, very good cigar. It had a good light. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I think I got my finger more than the cigar in the beginning. <laughs> Ash is good. Yep. I saw an ad one time where they took the cigar and set it on the ash, and we tried that, and it, it works. works. Very, very well rolled stick. Made by Olivia. I can tell everything's really good right now because I'm getting all the smoke blowing in my face. And it's really not bothering me that much, so... <laughs> It's I'm definitely not mellow. in this one like I did in the last film. It's definitely mellow. We had a sauna the other day. We tried yeah. videotaping in there. It had a really nice look to it, but it unfortunately didn't work out. Yeah, so. So but it was uh, 100, over 100 for like three days straight. So yeah. We didn't put our picture up. Yeah. Next time. Gonna do so much for that text days. that I got. We're ready. <laughs> We're not going in there. Never. Mm. <laughs> It's off limits. It's Area 51. Y'all can storm it if you want. <laughs> there might be something interesting in that pile of stuff in there. Furbies. I'm thinking a bunch of Furbies. Beanie Babies. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking is on Air Force One. What do you think, sir? I don't know. No clue. I feel old after my mishap yesterday. <laughs> he fell through the ceiling. <laughs> Onto a table and fell off the table. Just like WWE. Yeah. That, that probably would have felt better had I done it that way. <laughs> we could have just had that. Yeah, that would have been recorded. great to put on here. You could have just spliced it right in. No. No, I would have just put that on. Yeah, we <laughs> left that. Just sent that video. We would have got all of our subscribers right then and there. <laughs> Absolutely. Just watch it. Smoke a cigar. Really funny how this is so mild. This, this is so dark. It's very mild. It's got a... I should have kept my coffee. I had, my, I had a coffee when I came here. I should have brought it in would go well. Go well with like uh, some Jack Daniels or something too. Everything goes good with Jack Daniels. <laughs> I like Maker's Mark. But everything goes good with Maker's Mark. Like I told the guy the other day, he the, one of the Instagram followers was asking what we liked and I wasn't sure, I didn't imagine that you don't do a lot of drinking so I was yeah. like, you know, Mike's a Jack Daniels guy, I said I'm more of a Crown Roll, Jim Beam if I am, but I'm more beer, but if I'm going, you know, any type of whiskeys, that's where I'm going. 
He asks his doctor he doesn't drink. Yes. Right. If he's watching this, it's not really him. This is Willie, or Willie, Will's brother, Willie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My ash is still going well. Looks good. It's going to blow into my lap, isn't it? I hope it doesn't. Willie can put it out. <laughs> <laughs> cover up. Oh, man. What you got on the retro? Still a cocoa. It's more peppery, you know. But there's still, like... And you're... Yeah, I know. I'm a uh, Hoover vacuum, like you called me yeah, last time. I'm about a quarter of the way. It's almost like a musk, too. You get, you get a hint of that? Like a... Yeah, I'm going to look for it, you know? Getting a hint of black mold. Black mold. <laughs> <laughs> a little pepper. Pepper in the nose and on the retro hail, but then I got a good coffee taste on my tongue. Yeah. Definitely have like a coffee taste on my tongue. Good coffee. I Not think like I do. That is like I said, I was drinking coffee as a guy in there as well, so it might be a combination. Shout out to Dunkin' Donuts again. No more plugs, silly. Give us free stuff. What's saying that? <laughs> We're saying it wrong. Dunkin' Donuts is no longer exist. It's Dunkin'. It's just Dunkin'. It will always be Dunkin' Donuts to me. Yeah, it's Aww. just Dunkin'. I like double D's. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee and cream on the tongue now. Good. There is a like a coffee and cream. Of course. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> we'll just take coffee and cream. Oh, great. <laughs> Again, you don't have to sit here and dissect it. We can just sit back and enjoy it. Usually when we get done with this, that's what we do. Because this is more like work. Sort of. Yeah. Compared to our real job, it's work. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do, more, I do more of this stuff at night than I do my own job. So. Yeah, this is true. I was up till midnight last night, you know. Working on our set. You did yeah. a great job, Willie. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. But just enjoy your cigar. Yeah. That's the key. And again, the key for us is inexpensive. Like we said, these came to about $3 a piece. Yeah. For something that's usually over $100 for a box of 20 you spent 35 bucks for 12 yeah I mean cigars.com had it for 450 a cigar mm -hmm. so I got them for 30 yeah yeah you can't beat the price there's deals out there Check your cigar auction sites some places will get a freebie we've got so many free lighters and cutters yeah. ashtrays humidor yeah, humidors. And a lot of deals out there. You don't have to be spending wallet. ten dollar. Yeah, wallet. Hey, did you get a wallet? Yeah. Nice. His wife likes it. It's hers. She took it. It's <laughs> hers. Cinco. Cinco Vega wallet. Yep. Oh, okay. And my wife made sure one of the suggestions was her name's Marcia. Don't call her Marcia anymore. <laughs> but that's what Siri knows her at. <laughs> That's what I heard yeah. several times. Well, if I say it to Siri, Siri will answer me. See? If I say, call Marcia, she'll say, calling Marcia. Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. Yeah. Oh, shit. Bring it in the Brady Bunch. <laughs> uh, I guess we got Aurora coming now. Okay. I say, she's far from, she's far from the Brady Bunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to choose my words carefully here, and I think I'll just shut up. <laughs> not good idea. to anyone. Yeah. It's a good idea. My lovely bride. <laughs> now, if she had her own show, it'd have to be on, like, Showtime or Cinemax or something. That she is funny. Because she can't be edited out. No, no. She's, she's funny. Five-foot-tall, scrappy-doo. Five-foot-tall pit bull. About halfway. Look at that ash. It's doing good. It's a little bit more medium. Then mild to medium now. Yeah. Halfway point. Stronger as it goes, but it's more still coffee little... flavor. Yeah. yeah. More like the espresso coffee now. Yeah. But it's not that crappy espresso I had from the donut place. <laughs> you get coffee. <laughs> the crappy Dunkin' that doesn't give us anything. <laughs> <laughs> I say we leave it in. 
It's definitely If anybody should be getting anything, it should be me because I go there every freaking day. But, yeah. It's good flavor, but it's changed. Well, the good thing is, is with these is that I've noticed it's like a lot of times some of these flavored cigars, whether it's the coffee or, you know, say a vanilla flavor, it's like you get towards the end of it, you get that bitter taste. It's, I guess it's whatever that filler is that they put in for the flavors. Whereas this here so far, I mean, I still don't have nothing. It's still the same taste. You know, it's not, uh -oh. not bitter. Well, I thought we would uh, blow right through these, but this is a long-lasting cigar for as short as it is. It's well-packed. Yeah. Yeah. Long-lasting for some of us. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're getting a half an hour out of it for me. Yeah. Definitely get your money's worth. Especially at three bucks a pop. For what? A 3.7 inch cigar? I think is what it is. How is it towards the end there, Matt? It's still the same. It's good. All right. We can go with that. Matt could be our finished product. Yeah, he's, he's there before us. Yeah. <laughs> He'll always be done before us. Now, nothing wrong with that. Now you're you guys are halfway through. What are we rating? Well, I'll tell you. We can go with this. It's a great draw. Good roll. Nice hand rolled cigar. Good flavor. From Retro the beginning to well. halfway. Good. Good flavors. Mm -hmm. Mix of flavors. Changing the flavors. Coffee throughout, but with subtle hints of other things throughout. It. And the, the more cream, cocoa. I'm getting more coffee, peppery, more into it. I'm getting. Yeah. I'll give it a three stick review. A three? Mm hmm. I'd say three, three and a half. It's good. Again, fours are good. I mean, if we want to include what the price is, it's a four. It's a very good cigar at three dollars a stick. People love the nub. I I love it, but save the fours and fives for outstanding. It's definitely a three and a half leaning towards four. Now that price, though, that's the price you got, or is that what this, it always is, though? I thought you got this at a deal. No, I got it at three. Okay. What did we say? These are over $100 for a box of 20. Yeah. You know, I'm no mathematician, but that's more than $3 a piece. Right? Right. right. Okay. So we're not so we're not going to use that then as, as the you know, judge to critique. Okay. I can't use the price. That's you know, kind yeah, of what I'm. Not I'm really, because he got it. You're, you're going by the price. He, you just said the price he got it at. Right. But if the average person was out there just get buying them, well, they could buy them too at the same price. Maybe, maybe. But. Well, that, that's the key is that you can get these. Just good, have to go. This is like a 91 rated com. cigar, and uh, loved by millions. Yeah. But if you want to pay a hundred dollars or more for a box, your prerogative. But get them for a lot less. Like you said, yeah, it's probably a seven dollar cigar on the market. Mm -hmm. And that's online. It's probably uh, closer to ten if you go to a brick and mortar shop. Right. Yeah. Sure it is. I like it better like this three bucks. So do I. It's a very enjoyable cigar. Yeah, this is definitely, you know, I'm, this would be a good morning cigar to add to the one we did we did in our first review. Yeah. That's another thing too. I like to know if anybody gives any comments. Is like you know when when do you prefer to smoke? You know, for us, I mean, we're smoking all different times of the day. But what's the average person who? What what do they smoke? Are they smoke doing a morning cigar? Are they doing an afternoon or an evening? You know, I guess I'm curious. probably a lot of people. It's more of a nighttime. I think you know probably after, after dinner. Work, or after, after work. dinner. In the hot tub, like I do. All in all, it is a good cigar. I definitely give it a solid three and a half. Solid three and a half. Yeah, I'll go with three. I'm staying at three sticks. All right. Great ash, great draw. Appreciate good our viewers. Player. Yeah. If uh, thanks for watching. We put it out there. We can get. We're trying to get 100 subscribers. Once we get that, we're going to do a live drawing. Um, you know, just pass the word out. We can get. Maybe we can get. I mean, if we can go over 100, that'd be awesome. But. Like I said, we got three cigars coming your way free. We cover the shipping and all. Not going to be a problem. We, just, we need their subscribers. I didn't know we were covering shipping, too. I guess so. <laughs> I guess we have. You realize how cheap it is to ship? I guess. I guess. So. It's not against the law. No, it's not. We looked it up. Follow us on Instagram. Yep. Instagram, Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube. Below. YouTube. Please keep giving the comments. And uh, you can email us. 
Yep. NapolisAshTalk at gmail.com. I haven't gotten an email from anybody, but if you'd like to email us, please email us. And uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, appreciate your time. Have a good day.